Hey guys, it's Wolf of Valhalla Gaming, and we are back in Cliff Empire with Helheim, Midgard, New Asgard, and Valhalla. And when we left off, we were trying to build these uh, solar rings to stabilize the energy flow on the planet. So actually, we're going to uh, unsleep this one because it's almost done. Speed up just a little bit. And it should get done in no time, really. Yep, there it is. Okay, that one's done. And what is this one at? 300... I know another one of these is really close Trading to being done. Hmm. Alright, so we're just going to keep going in this circle. So this one will catch all the uh, matter for the next one. They are 25,000. Oh god, our manpower is kind of dropping, isn't it? That's fine. Once we get, uh, what, we need to defrost 50 people. We have enough workplaces for... Let's defrost some people. And defrost a few more people. Oh, not enough resources. Damn it. What are we missing? That's the residential sector. What are we... I think we're just missing some... cat. No, mate, what? What are we missing? Oh, gadgets. We're always missing gadgets. The bane of our existence is gadgets. But that guy should be getting his stuff. Uh, I did rearrange a little bit, as you can see. All of my drones are in a line. All of my recycling stations are in a line. I've got our two 3D printing stations over here producing a good amount of things. And then I've got all of our energy over here. I wanted to put the energy kind of cutting across, but uh realized that too late and I don't really want to destroy all of our medical. So we're just going to deal with it being in the shape of this, which isn't ideal, but it is what it is. How close are we to this one already? 75%? Alright, let's hop down to New Asgard. So as you can see, we are actually getting um, power from the Valhalla. We're getting 160, I think, which is permanent energy, which is nice. Uh, it's just permanent energy. It helps out cities, especially right here and right here. How is our communications doing? Where's our communications? Um... Communications. Where's our level of communication at? Maybe I have to hop up to Valhalla to find that. How's our communication? We're at a hundred out of a hundred and four, which isn't ideal, but we are able to communicate, so it's not too bad overall. Do you? Okay, so you don't consume any power whatsoever. That is great. I was worried about it consuming power. All right, so we're we just waiting on matter at this point. Yeah, we've got the twenty-five thousand. What is our daily income over here? Um, negative seven hundred. Oh God, somebody's shooting. They're celebrating down here. What are you celebrating, people? Yay, celebration! Celebrate tonight. Come on. Okay, back to the actual game. Stop blowing up my stuff. Oh, I thought I saw a firework go off down there, and I'm like, that's a bad place to have explosives going off. Oh, boy. That is a really bad place. So what can we do to improve? This place needs so much electricity. During the day, it's fine, but just at night is a nightmare. Mm. Oh, God, we slowed down. <laughs> I was wondering what was going on. Yeah, see, during the day, we generate more than enough electricity here, but uh, at night, it can get a little rough. Over here is relatively safe, and then over here is also relatively safe. Um, let's hop back up to Valhalla, see how this... No, we only need 100 more. Not bad, not bad. And we have enough cash for almost two of them, so once we get this one built, should be a priority one. Uh, it's priority one you, so all of the matter goes to it. Yeah, that's nice. I'm very curious. What is our net? We're at 22. What is the next challenge going to be? Are we having to defrost the entire station, maybe? I could see that being a challenge. What is the next challenge? Because obviously this challenge is not that hard. It's just spending money and matter, which we're already amazing at doing. We spend so much money and so much matter, and all of our economies are... Mildly balanced. We just spend a lot of money up here to build each uh, each section of this station. Cost a stupid amount of money. All right, so what? Two more trips. 
something like that. Three more trips. How much you have? Eh, four more trips. I forget how much matter these bring. God, there's so many of them. They're just like a little swarm of bees going into the space. Into the space. Yes, the space. That is the space now. It is now known as MySpace. <laughs> Who had a MySpace? Who's old enough to remember MySpace? They taught us basic coding on that freaking website. Also awfully dangerous. I'm pretty sure it's still a thing, but I think it's more of a music sharing platform now. So, um, yeah, welcome to today's TED Talk on MySpace. There we go. We have a third ring. We're halfway there, guys. Those energy uh, transmitters, I guess, look awesome. Platform arrived. But uh, let's start work on the next. You're at 300. You're at 400. At 70. Um, let's do the 71 just because it's going to take us a while to build that cash flow back up. And uh, yeah. So it's going to take us a while to get the cash for it. It's priority one it. There we go. So we should have enough matter flowing over here for that. We're going to hop back down to down here. Yes, two down here. See what's going on. How's my shitties doing? Are we still approaching thunderstorm? I don't care, honestly. Um, still selling. Probably not selling enough, but that is what it is. Still selling water, which is good. Actually, let's hop up to Valhalla and check the water situation. Uh, full stats. Okay, so we are actually net increasing on water. We are net decreasing on those, though, so let's see if we can't... Yeah, get some more people here. Manpower should shoot up to 97. Are we missing anything? 239 out of 246, plus 30%, though. Um, I think we're good. Our communication's getting a little shoddy, so maybe hop down here and build another communications relay. Um... Let's come down here, satellite dish. And where can we put the satellite dish? Let's try and get it. Yeah, we can put one right here. Why not? So that'll keep these guys busy too. Give us a reason to have these under cliff production facilities. Just keep building stuff. Which is nice. Valhalla's net income is once again going through the roof because everybody's paying money to Valhalla. Oh boy. Okay. So what is our matter over here looking like? 230. Not bad. I think all of these all have the... Yeah. So we're just waiting on matter still. Not too big of an issue. We have an approaching thunderstorm. Still not a big issue. Let's see what's going on. What? Oh, that was the train. I thought, geez, that train was hauling ass. So pretty though. Wait, what? Oh, you've reached. I thought it was giving me the option to add another module for half a second. I was like, wait a minute. Can we add another module? Hmm. Interesting, interesting. What can I do here? Do we have. We have 90. We have a little bit too much man. Or a uh, little bit too many jobs and not enough manpower here. Interesting. What we really need is the. Um, where are you? Beacon of Hope. 29 freaking honor points. We're still seven away. Ugh. Once we get that guy going, we'll be set. I was playing around in creative and built the entire city. I pretty much replicated all of these cities, but I built a beacon of hope in each one. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Just looked great. Fantastic. Was amazing. And did not have to worry about matter or anything like that. Um, we're about halfway done with you, a little bit over half with you, and about half with you. So, as long as we can keep our cash flow positive here, we'll be okay. Only another 20,000... Thunderstorm, wind intensified. Yes. My, my pretty Daenerys turbines. Everything is flooded with water, oh no! Drones can be destroyed by lightning and the risk of fire increases. Orbital capsules cannot depart to the earth due to the weather conditions. The Traitic portal will also not work in these conditions. So what are we doing? Are we selling batteries or are we just surviving? Alright, just survive. <laughs> it's like the last mission of Halo Reach. 
What? Oh, I must have lost something during the last battle. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, we're gonna lose a couple drones here and there, but that's not really a big deal to me. We'll just survive this drone issue. It's only eight days. And we will see what is going on up here. Down below the thunderstorms rage, but up above it is quite peaceful. Is on fire. Until this entire space station Building gets overrun with xenomorphs. Who do you think Building would win in a war, fire. xenomorphs or necromorphs? Building necromorphs consume all living tissue though, Building so um, I think necromorphs would win that one. Now if we're going with the flood versus the necromorphs is when things get interesting, because both of them are sentient hive minds, kind of. I mean, the necromorphs don't really become, like, hive mind sentient until they try to make a brother moon, but... Building is on fire. Uh, yeah, oh Building god. Is on fire. Mini alarms, mini alarms. Building so many... Oh, oops. <laughs> Did those people die in their drones? Is that a thing? Like, when those drones get blown up, are people dying in them? What's our... Building is on fire. Hmm. Building is on fire. Doesn't really tell you, but I've... Had 252 people born. That's not bad. Good job, people. That means that my people are happy enough to uh, have relations with each other. Bound chicka bark bark. Are we? How? How's our antenna coming down here? Uh, 17%. That's not great, but it's not bad. Almost have enough cash to build two of these, and we're 59% complete. <laughs> Manpower is at 97. Is that just because we don't have enough? Okay. Well, oh, what is what resources are we missing? Of course, it's these freaking gadgets. Ugh. Let's take away from engine production. Building is on fire. Build some more gadgets. We don't really need that many engines up here, so we're just gonna produce a crap ton of gadgets. Building is beautiful. On fire. Beautiful. 62%, I forget what these are, 65 and 53. We have enough cash to build two of them outright, though, so that'll be nice. Just need to get the matter up here. We got nine matter here, two matter here. That is the only issue with this, is they only gather the matter if it's 10 or above. So they actually have to go out, bring more matter back, even though there's nine matter here. And then fly that matter to wherever the heck it has to go, which right now is over here at our 65% complete is on fire. solar ring. Building is on fire. Energy down here is actually, we're producing 197. That's interesting. So it's actually producing, wait, why does it go down during the day or during night? Why does it go down at night? They're, hmm. I could... Building is, on fire. is Valhalla in a geosynchronous orbit? Or is Valhalla rotating around the planet and actually loses sunlight some part of the day? Because if you look, it says it's generating 160. Or 80. 80 times 3 is whatever it is. But it does increase during the day by the looks of it. Yeah, it generates 240, but it does actually go down during nighttime. Which is interesting, which means Valhalla would have to be in a geosynchronous orbit around the planet and orbiting directly above our cliffs, essentially. So it's only above the cliffs, which means it only gets sunlight the same amount of time these get sunlight, essentially. I mean, it gets sunlight constantly because of the way the Earth is curved and everything, but it does point away from the planet, or from the sun. I didn't realize that. Super interesting. Super interesting. But it does help stabilize, because look at that. What? Um, it's like a third of our power generation almost in some cities. How are we looking up here? Got enough cash flowing. Cash is flowing beautifully. 75%, only need another 230 for that one? That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all, considering these guys are priority ones. Let's just walk around our space station. I wish you could actually go inside of it. Oh, oh, developers, if you're watching this, please make a portion of this where you can walk inside of the space station. I would love to visit the inside of the space station. Actually, make a version or make an update 
where you can oh god it spins why does it spin is it generating uh artificial gravity that's interesting um can you update the game to where we can actually go inside of every building like don't have major things inside the building obviously that would cause a lot of lag but if you could go inside of every building that'd be amazing like you decide to go into the courthouse or something and it's actually got like this is cool having these citizens walking around but like um you can also ride at elevators wherever they are there's they're somewhere around here could you imagine actually going into your like courthouse though like i've said like a lot i apologize i just want to go into the courthouse let me into my courthouse oh i accidentally paused the game oops <laughs> Oh, this is this city has come out much nicer than I thought it would. It's gonna go undergo heavy renovations once I get the other uh, beacon of hope, because the beacon of hope is just gonna. Oh, this is so pretty. You imagine everything's just kind of stuffy outside, so you come in here and get some fresh air. Building is on fire. Look, it's a lion. Building is on fire. And some horsies doing a dance. But yeah, just, is on fire. if this was a bit more optimized, you could actually, where did that elevator go? Let me on the elevator. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait, achievement unlocked. I got an achievement for going in the elevator? What? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> is that the tallest elevator I have? What's the tallest elevator I have? I, I need to find out. Is there an elevator for fire. this building? Oh, please tell me there's an elevator for this building. Um, where am I? Am I still in this city? Wait, which? Where? Where am I? Yay, objective completed. We're gonna hop over to Valhalla and pay them, actually. Because Valhalla needs some... You can't blow up fireworks in space. Stop it. Only 50 more needed for that one. So we'll actually... Oh, yep, yeah, there's our daily statistics. So let's just see what happens here. Can we get... Speed that up again. Building is on fire. Stop blowing stuff up, people. Let's get this one completed. We actually almost have enough cash to finish all three. We just need the matter now. So that is gorgeous. We need 40 more. Building is on fire. Um, Building is on fire. I see that we're going to have Building some coming fire. soon. Yep, 30 more. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yep, 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 yep. Keep feeding it. Feed the beast feed the industrial machine and this one will be done with one more trip which means we should be generating whatever 80 times 4 is 160 320 yeah it should be 320 energy during a day cycle downstairs beautiful so now we're gonna start on this one and we're gonna hop back down here and I think I was looking for other I was looking for an elevator to get on top of my natural museum, if I remember correctly. Tell me there's an elevator to get up here. Trading platform arrived. Oh, that looks like a place an elevator could go. Why is there not an elevator to get up here? This building would be so pretty. Or put like a park at the top of it so you can get off the elevator. It is a nature park, isn't it? Isn't this like my natural history museum? So put a park. Like turn this into an actual park. Oh, that'd be gorgeous. Where you can walk around up here. Kind of like, um, I think it's Japan or Singapore's building. Or if it's already built. I don't know. It's been forever since I even looked at it. It was like a sky garden or whatever. Like on top of a skyscraper. It's three skyscrapers put together with just a garden spread out between the three of them. Gigantic. It's like a forest in the air. But could you imagine that? That'd be gorgeous down, down in, on the cliffs. What is the next challenge? I'm so curious. So curious. We only need another 200 matter for you and then however much you cost. So we're gonna keep down here and let's see if we can't figure out some stuff to change. What are we making too much of? Let me go to my resources here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Too much water, no, because we're selling a lot of it. Looks like everything's actually like perfectly balanced unless I start sending people away. Hmm. On a side note, though, um, how much energy do you? 190 energy a piece. 
Uh, we rely way too heavily on those nuclear reactors over here right now. That's not ideal. How's Midgard, or New Asgard's power situation? We require that, but this is 760% of it, uh, or 760. Interesting, interesting. Let's hop up back here. See what's going on. How close are we now? 86. We need another 130. Yeah, 130. Another 130 matter. So let's hop down to Asgard, which has generated a decent amount of income. Still need to sell it though. Um, let's sell if we have more than 20, because we need to put some more matter into space. We need to make space great again. All right, there we go. So we need 120 more matters here, which isn't too bad. Trading platform arrived. Ah, interesting. So if y'all are interested in seeing it, there is creative mode for this game. And if you want to see creative mode, maybe just city designs or something like that, I could probably throw something together. And, or there's also tower defense, where you pretty much, if y'all want to see a series on either creative mode, tower defense, whatever, just uh, let me know down in the comments below so I can get that content rolling. I'm also going to be making announcements relatively soon. I am moving back to America in the next month or so, and my computer will be in transit for probably a month. So don't expect any content for roughly... Mm, I'd say two months. It's I'm moving, moving across continents and oceans, and it's going to take me a while to get settled where I'm going. So I'd say two months conservatively to get everything set back up, which is going to be quite saddening to not create content for y'all, but I'm so happy to be going back to America that, honestly, y'all know how much I despise this place. I mean, I love Africa, I love the animals and everything, but it, it can be a little difficult sometimes. Oh, we need one more. Come on, come on, come on. Give it to me. Come on. Give me give me the matter. Give me the matter. Give me the matter. Yes. Now we've got one more. We're almost there. Oh, God, our manpower just dropped down. Why did our manpower drop down? Maybe, do we have enough gadgets? We have enough gadgets. Let's defrost some people because we, we need about 200 people, actually. Let's defrost. 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 And... No, not enough resources. Okay, I can take 90. Oh, hit the wrong button. Approaching season drought. Not good. Not good at all. Alright, so we're almost done with this solar ring. We are 60% there. Oh, new Asgard and Midgard both breaking the 100,000 credit barrier. Helheim and Valhalla will be next once this frickin' solar ring is completed. Oh, these solar rings take a lot of resources. I wonder what is next. Are we going to build more stuff on the space station? That'd be really cool if you can multi-layer it. Like, it drops down and build another layer of stuff. That'd be awesome. Because what, we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 times 50, so like 750 people left on the space station. And that's not even its max occupancy. We can hold 5,000 people here. So that'd be really cool if we could build a second layer to the space station and build another solar ring maybe. And maybe uh, some more stuff like this. And it would make sense if we could or research technology to kind of bring these asteroids in and get water off of them there is frozen hydrogen and oxygen in space for those of you who don't know you can get those bare things in space from you know rocks floating around so i don't see why we can't pull water off of these floating asteroids that are also what happened that earth is so close to an asteroid belt because these asteroids are like Super close. They should be getting pulled into Earth's gravitational pull and rotation or spinning out or hitting the moon or something. Where's the moon? Oh, there's the moon. I was about to say, did we blow up the moon? Is that what all these are? Oh, God. The moon. All right, let's hop back down. 
Oh, I forgot I did do some rearranging over here and I put in a trade portal, didn't I? Interesting. I forgot about that. Because <laughs> we needed to make more money here. Season drought is approaching. Very nice, very nice. How oh, close are we? 76%. We need another 220. It's going to take a little bit. It's not ideal. I don't like just dragging things out to drag them out. But we can do a little bit of work. Let's let's come over here. What do we what do we have too much of over here? Or what don't we have enough of, I should say. Um, where's my resources? There we go. What are, what is our overall Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, I don't like that at all. She's in drought. The drought period is coming. The clouds are completely gone, making solar energy more effective. Ooh. But the groundwater has drowned. How is the groundwater dried up if I'm using water fountains? The earth has become infertile. Ugh. It's not ideal. Large supply of batteries. <sighs> Why are we gonna sell- okay, whatever, we're gonna- no, oh, no, not Valhalla. Let's go to New Asgard. Um, what's our batteries looking like? How are we looking on batteries? 140. How many do we have to sell? 168? So we'll sell, um, one time sale of what, like, what did I do? Like 60, 60, and 60 or something like that? Because that should also go through the trade point. Well, we'll do 60, 60. That's 120. And then another... Yeah, we have some over here, so we'll do another 60. Alright. Done and done. Let's just speed up. And those batteries are going to get launched into space. That should be like 180, so I think we're good. And we're just really waiting on another 130 matter. So it's just the waiting game. Ugh, I despise the waiting game. So let's, uh... I don't really know what to do for the next few minutes while that happens. Hop back down to our planet. How's our communication? I, did we finish our communications thingy? Oh, it's almost done. 81%. Not bad. Trading flat I need six, seven, eight, eight, eight more things. Sold 24 batteries so far. Sold 50, 60 batteries. <laughs> Okay, we've sold 60 batteries. 70 batteries. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's been one day. 74 batteries. Very interesting. How's our matter looking? Need another 100. 100 more matter. Can we do it? Maybe. I don't know. So, uh, I'm not gonna torture y'all and make y'all wait. No. Jesus, we're moving matter really fast. I was gonna say I'm not gonna torture y'all and make y'all wait for this to be built, but... It'll probably be built in the next minute or so, and that would be a waste of a cut, wouldn't it? Yeah, we only need 60 more matter. If that, what, we have 10 here. 15 here. 3 there. We got some stuff over here, some stuff over here. <laughs> only need 60 more matter, though, so we'll just, we'll kind of wait it out. Let's see, uh, how's our battery situation? <laughs> okay, we've already sold enough batteries. Very well. Very well indeed. How's our matter situation? Can... Oh. oh god, that got done really fast. Oh boy. Maintain mental state. So this is our next objective, is maintain mental state. Despite the great achievements and the developments on Earth, people in the orbit went to a tense phase in depression mental state for two weeks to overcome the crisis. Wait, so how do I... I have these psychiatric wards, don't I? Do I have to max out my mental state? Interesting, interesting. So we have to max the mental state for two weeks? Is that what it is? Raise and maintain a mental state at the maximum level for two weeks. Okay, so we're halfway there, so let's get rid of our orbital parks. That's not ideal. And do some psychiatric care centers. They only cost 12000 apiece, and not that much matter. Eh, I don't really like spending that much, but it is what it is. 380. Let's prioritize one. So to get there, we're going to have to get to 507. How much do you produce? 66. Or 70. So that'd be 140. Two... 
80. This is another 140 on top of this. What do you do? Do you Trading add to it? Arrived. What about you? Do you add for it? So what adds to our mental state? Um, is this the only thing that adds to the mental state? I think this is the only thing that adds to mental state. So we may have to maybe lose one of our entertainment areas and build a new one. Interesting. Under cliff construction nope. complete. There we go. Now we have enough communications again. So 130 and 20. All right, guys. Unfortunately, uh, I'm all out of time for today's episode. We'll figure out this problem next episode. Thank you all for joining me. And as always, see you next time. Bye, guys.